Hello, my name is Jan Mattes, I'm Chief Product Owner for SAP Signavio Process Insights and I will now go, gonna show you how you can administer your systems in a way that uh, users can only access uh, certain areas. So I log on already as an administrator and under the administration menu, you find also the new access configuration. You've seen basically uh, how you can lock users out of certain systems, but now it's even more powerful. You can basically also have rules which allow uh, users to access all uh, data in a certain system. You can have a rule which uh, limits users to have only access to certain companies and plants. And you can also have a rule which uh, combines companies, plants, and sales organizations. Let me show this to you um, in a quick detail. We go here into such a policy and uh, you see basically that um, all those policies have already assigned users. And if I go now here into a policy which shows me uh, basically um, a rule which has filtered company code, plant and sales org. I can also see um, which of those companies have been uh, associated for that policy. You see it's basically 11 items, uh, 11 companies for that policy will be allowed. And uh, you see also it's seven out of thousand plants which have uh, been created in that system. You see that's the list of the seven. And then finally, you have also a list of seven sales organizations which are filtered. And how did I filter that? It's basically very easy. You can have here an advanced filtering. And in that advanced filtering, you can enter a string, uh, let's say something like 100, and then it would filter out all um, sales organizations which contain the string 100. And that's basically what I did here to filter those seven sales organizations. Now let's have a look into um, the user which is assigned to a certain rule and how it looks for a user. So this is now for this user and for this policy, I filtered for companies and plants only. Uh, and basically all sales organizations will be allowed for that user. So then uh, in the system with that different user, it looks like this. So you find here basically how many um, process flows, recommendations he'll be having. Also, you will see basically all systems uh, which are made available for him. This is the system where I configured uh, that he shall be access to certain plans and companies only, but all sales orgs which are in the system. And if I go into a process flow, um, then you find the following picture. And you see here the numbers, it's 409 documents which are in the sales billing document creation to F I, uh, accounts receivable clearing. And it, you see it also here with the blockers, it's 59. Now let's switch back into the administration mode. I will now change the authorization for that user. First, I'm gonna remove that user here from uh, the existing policy, which filters, which allows basically to access all sales organizations. I review, I see basically what will be associated then, and I'm, then I save. And now I want to add this user to a profile which is more restrictive. Uh, and that's basically the one I just showed you in advance. It's basically filtering for 11 company codes, seven plants, and seven sales orgs only. Now I need to enter the ID of the user and confirm with enter. I review, I again see what will be saved. And now I save. And now let's switch back into the other user. You see basically what the user has seen. And now let me refresh that process flow. And then by magic, you see the number decreased to 408. So one document is now missing and you find this also here in the blocker missing. And um, if I want to now exclude that users completely basically from that system, that nothing would be more easy. I go again into the administration mode and basically now just remove the user completely from that profile and also from all policies. So basically the user will not have access now anymore to that system. Let me go back into 
um, the user menu. And now I refresh again the browser. And you see, this is now an invalid system. The system is not anymore in the list of that user, so he cannot see any data anymore. I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned for more videos.